Hello guys, Punisher here, and today I'm going to teach you how to import your tile sets from GameMaker Studio into Gmare, better known as GameMaker's Alternative Room Editor. So let's just write, let's just jump right into it. So we're gonna open GameMaker. We're gonna go into background because we need to have our tile sets already in GameMaker in order for this to work. So we create a new background. Go to background, we load it. Okay, so we have it there. We check use a style set. And uh, my tile set is 32 by 32. It's fine. And then you give it a name. So for this, I'm just going to use tiles. And that's pretty much it for Game Maker for now. So we're going to go straight into Gmare. So once we're there, then we see a couple of things here. So our size is 20 tiles by 20 tiles, which is fine. We can also set up the room speed right there. So in order for us to, to import our tile set from GameMaker into here, we just got to go here where it says edit background. And here we adjust the tile set size. So it's going to be 32 by 32, as you already know. Oh, OK, so we're, we have to choose where our tile set is and uh, we have to look for it. So we go here and uh, this is the same folder for your GameMaker file game, right? game file so we go where it says backgrounds and uh, images you got to choose it's the one you wish and uh here's the little trick you see it has the it has the same name but when you import it into gmare you're not supposed to be using the same name so you got to change it to something different we're gonna say tiles 2 and that's pretty much it for this so click on that after that you go ahead and create your room, same way I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to speed this up so you guys don't have to watch any of this. All right, so our room has been created already. And now we feel that it's time to export it into Game Maker. All right, so the way you do this is you go to where it says File, then you go where it says Export to Game Maker File. Oh, so. Now we have to look for the game maker file. And uh, this is it. So you double click it. And now here you're given a couple of op options. So none of this is going to be touched. So do not do anything to it unless you know what you're doing. So here you can just give it a name and say, uh, you know, first level. Something like that. Okay. So yeah, that's your first level, and I think that's pretty much it. So all you have to do is click where it says save export. And now it says export complete. And back up, yeah, this is a common error that you're gonna be getting if you have GameMaker open while you are importing, uh, exporting your rooms from Gmare to GameMaker. So that's fine, don't worry about it. Just click on no here, and that's pretty much it. So now we've gotta go to GameMaker, and we're gonna see something. It's gonna be kinda weird. But it makes sense, though, so don't worry about it. So here you see that you have no rooms. Okay, that's that's fine. That's, that's no problem. If you had open, if you had Game Maker closed and then you opened it, you would be able to see your room right there. So since we didn't do that, we had it open all the time. We're gonna go here where it says Add Existing Room, and then you're gonna go to where your Game Maker file is, and you're gonna go into Rooms. Cool. So we got Rooms first level. Double click it and it should work just fine. Now, everything is right there. And we missed that little tile there. Hey there, feeling kinda empty. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Uh, this is it for the tutorial, guys. As you can see, you have everything the way it was, the, the exact same way it was in Gmare. You can confirm that by seeing this here. I don't know why we're missing that tile here. So this is kinda weird. But uh, anyway, so that was pretty much the tutorial, guys. Let me know what you think about this tutorial, if you learned something, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.